The School of Education and Social Policy at Northwestern University attracts innovators from all over the country, including assistant professor in SESPE, Paula Hooper. Hooper has worked at the Exploratorium in San Francisco, the University of Chicago, and elementary schools across the country, with an emphasis on science and technology for students of color. She was also the first African-American woman to receive a PhD from the Media Lab at MIT. As a person of African-American experience, I can't um, take out my experiences of being African-American from any moment when I'm learning. And I knew that my students didn't have the opportunity to do that. And I knew that having that perspective was coming from a place of white privilege. Of, of, and I mean that in, the, in you know, just a sincere way that, that some people who um, experience the world from um, whiteness feel like there's a choice of whether or not to address cultural experience in learning or economics or anything. SESPE students at Northwestern said they would use their degrees to help marginalized communities. I think that I'd want to work at some sort of nonprofit or in the government. I'm really interested in healthcare policy specifically um, or zoning policy or housing policy. Those are like the main things that interest me, but I'm not sure exactly how I want to do this, but I just want to work a career where I'm making the lives of poor people better. Right now, um, I want to do um, policy for mental health systems in prisons. However, Hooper emphasized Northwestern can work on creating a more intentionally diverse faculty. One of the big areas that Northwestern needs to embrace, and it, it's sort of happening in a little bit of a microcosm in the in SESPE right now, is that um, diversity, taking very seriously the diversity, embracing diversity, equity, and inclusion means bringing in people who have lots of different backgrounds and giving a preference to um, bringing in people of color because most of the projects or, or programs within SESB are still predominantly white. Katherine Henderson, Medill School of Journalism, reporting.